Jamie here again with Iconic Effects. One of the things I've been working on lately has been has been uh, trying to paint urethane. I saw a guy's YouTube video out there where he was painting a, uh, a flash cowl and it turned out fantastic and I really wondered, I'm like, well how's that work? You know, because I know that that cowl was made out of the same type of material that I use. So I've done a little bit of research and with a little bit of help from him, I actually uh, kind of figured out how to do some painting. Uh, this was one of the things I was experimenting with. This was just a flash cowl. This is actually a uh, Task 16, which is a little bit of a harder shore urethane, um, 80 shore, as a matter of fact. Uh, th again, this was just experimenting, so you know, don't pay any attention to the color. The fact it's extremely flat because there's been no real finish on it. Um, but again, that was just something I was kind of playing around with. Uh, Yesterday, though, I went over to a place local local to me called uh, Coast Airbrush. Coast Airbrush sells everything related to airbrush stuff, whether it's equipment or paint or whatever the deal is. It's a fantastic place. The reasoning why the, the painting, though, for me has been so important is, one, I want to do the Clooney blue at some point on a suit. Like, I think, you know, I think that'll kind of kind of pop a little bit more, and it's just, you know, something kind of for fun. Uh, but the other thing, of course, is I've been making that Robin Redbird torso, and the bird on it, this giant red bird on the on the entire chest, runs down the shoulders, and slightly onto the back, not really back there, but whatever. Um, one of the things is I didn't want to just put the powders into the mold and cast urethane behind it, I actually wanted to paint it. That's great for display. I could paint literally any urethane piece and have it be a display piece without a problem, because it's not being moved, you know, it doesn't need to flex or anything like that. Um, one of the things though, of course, is I'm actually looking to do a wearable suit and with it being a wearable suit, of course, I, I maybe should have ran the powders in the mold because they're not going to come off. I mean, over time they'll probably wear off a little bit, but not to the extent that paint maybe will. So I, I went over to, uh, like I said, I went over to Coast Airbrush yesterday and I picked up a couple of paints to try out. Now. This is actually uh, called Wicked Wicked Colors. Sorry, and I don't have them with me, or else I would actually show you. But uh, by Creatix or something like that. I don't. I don't really airbrush. This is all new to me, so I don't really know all the brands or names or anything like that. But um, so this is kind of the result. Now this is a fin I painted that I've had lying around. This was made out of 40 shore urethane. Nothing too. Nothing too fancy. But I do want to show you the other side. So check it out. I don't know if you could see that or not, but the paint is coming off in the front, it's coming off in the middle, and then up here at the fin. Now the reasoning why that is, is because I didn't put any sort of a primer base down. So while it looks pretty good, until it starts flexing, and then guess what? It starts cracking and coming off and causing all sorts of problems. The other side, on the other hand, I put a base down on. So I have bent and moved this and have done the same type of flexing and nothing's happening to it as you can kind of see. Like it's still, it's still good. I also have tried to scratch the paint off and I can't get the paint to scratch off again. Fantastic. So kind of the key thing is I think I figured out how I'm gonna paint the, uh, how I'm gonna paint the Robin Redbird now. Sorry, I'm looking at it to make sure. I'm like, did I really not mess anything up? Yeah, there's literally nothing wrong with this now. Um, so I know now how I'm gonna paint the Robin or the Redbird torso. I'm trying to decide what I want to use as as primer for it. But uh, just to kind of let you know that basically there was a uh, a layer that was laid down of a sealant, um, like a matte finish type sealant that was used as its base layer. And then I sprayed the blue on after that. And then I went back over the top of that again with that base layer. So. It created a, a paint that's flexible, that can move, and that can stretch and not crack, which is also kind of key, especially if I decide to start going the route of painting a couple of cowls up outside of that flash cowl or anything else. If I decide I want to paint a Clooney up or I want to paint a Kilmer cowl up, you don't want that paint coming off of there when you're trying to pull it on over your head because that's that's really where you'll run into those issues at. Uh, either way, you know, this is all an experimentation thing. I, I I wanted to learn how to paint urethane for a really long time. I kind of feel like that was kind of the next step as to, you know, with urethane, I, I know how to run it. I know how to get the proper thickness on it. I know how to reinforce it. I know how to give muscle its structure so it stays stiff or stay stiff but soft and pliable all at the same time. So kind of the next realm was doing the painting. So that's kind of where we're at on it. Um, hopefully I, you know, have a video here showing you pretty shortly the actual Robin Redbird painted up, which would be nice. 
and I'm also kind of hoping I can get some videos of myself actually painting it physically. So hope you guys tune into that. Again, please subscribe down there. It does help out. Leave any comments if you feel like it. And of course, check us out at Iconic-FX on Facebook or Instagram. Or if you have any emails or questions or anything for me, info at Iconic-FX.com. I'll see you guys later.